Hey Virgo Collective, welcome to the channel. Welcome back. How y'all feeling? Happy Sunday, y'all. Let's get into your reading. Three questions. Who's thinking about you? How are they feeling about you? And their next move, if anything. And a piece of advice, and we can close it out. Just gonna be really quick, y'all. Who's thinking about Virgo? Take what resonates, lead the rest, flip it if you need to. Be past, present, or future energy. Wow. I'm gonna take that. I'll take these two. Hmm. Some of you may be married to someone on a long-term commitment with somebody. This is a soulmate. How are they feeling? Hmm. Stuck in their head, whoever they are. <laughs> and their next move towards you. Okay, wait. Okay. The overall energy is the queen of swords. Some of you are dealing with a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Wow, an indecisive person who could have left you out in the cold. Could be a Taurus as well. Or some of you can have Taurus placements. It looks like this person is a bit guarded right now. I do feel like they want to have some kind of honest communication with you about a decision that they made. That kind of made you feel left out in the cold. So some of, some of them abandoned you, or at least you feel that way. Let's get into this. It could be someone you live with, had a family with, were married to, and a long-term commitment. It could be a Pisces. Could be a cancer. We got the Ten of Cups and the Two of Cups. This is your other half. This is someone that you're happily ever after. So again, you could have children with them, maybe two. Um, you could have been engaged to them, married to them in a long-term commitment or live with them. This was the person that you thought was going to be the one. You may still feel this way. How are they feeling about you? They're thinking a lot about you. They're meditating. They feel like they missed an opportunity with you. Four swords, four of cups. The four is all about, you know, the mindset, mentality, as well as security and stability. So again, some of you could have had a very stable, solid connection with this person. Others of you, it is possible that you wanted that, you envisioned that. Maybe they did too, but they could have missed the opportunity here being self-absorbed or distracted by something from their past. Um, they could have over could have been overthinking and ended up missing uh, missing an opportunity with you. This is a person who might seem ungrateful because they're focused on these cups here instead of the one here that's being, you know, gifted to them from spirit, by spirit, okay? So this is a person who I feel like definitely moved very slow with you. It probably didn't even move at all um, beyond a certain point. Even if you were married, even if you lived with them, something became stagnant, okay? It's a period of rest right now. So I think they're feeling for you, how they're feeling about you right now. Some of them feel like they have missed the opportunity with you and you're not even going to be interested. And they feel like you have put this on ice for right now. It feels real quiet between you two. Okay, their next move towards you is the two of pentacles and the eight of pentacles, which is good. This could be a hard working person. They could work multiple jobs. They could be a very busy, 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 focused, driven, motivated, determined person. Okay, um, they could have two or more jobs. Or, look, or they work long hours, so a lot of overtime. But this is a person who actually wants to prioritize you now. They want to fit you into their schedule. They want more balance in the connection with you, and they want to actually work on it. They want to work hard on it. This is someone who wants to cultivate a relationship with you. Um, they want you to be patient with them as they work out the kinks to fit this connection in or get back on the same page in the relationship or the marriage, whatever the dynamic is for you all. Let's get... Um, but some honest communication from this person. Whatever they say to you is going to be the truth with the Queen of Swords. Could be some things they want to get off their chest. Or maybe they're feeling like this is how you feel. What is Virgo's advice? Virgo's advice. Thank you. Trust and forgiveness. Yes, yeah, some of you definitely were married. This is a t the number 10. We started with the 10 of Cups. 10s are all about closing out a cycle, moving to the next cycle. So this is why you have trust and forgiveness. It is time for you to learn to let down your guard and learn to trust again. So I told you some of them could feel like this is you that's guarded. Okay. But yeah, some of you maybe <laughs> they feel like you're ignoring them or blocking them. Or this is how you felt about this person. Flip it how you need to. But maybe they, they're holding a grudge with you. I don't know. But it's time for trust and forgiveness. That's what it says. It's at the bottom of the deck. Universal bank number 70. Everything you need to thrive is already here. See, I told you this person is really fixated on money. And so maybe they had to get some things together in their finances. Okay. 
All right, yeah, that's what I feel. That's what I have for you, Virgo. Please please like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell for me, and um, I will see you all probably tomorrow. Peace.